Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the ongoing lockdowns happening here in the United States of America. All due to this terrible health crisis, of course. We're still struggling to deal with the pandemic and things are starting to kind of die down as far as lockdowns go. Some states are starting to open up, like say Florida and a few other ones, Georgia, but other states are locking down. In fact, a very popular state, California, has just extended its lockdowns through August. They actually don't even have an end date right now. They just said it would be three Three more months, which is pretty long, pretty daunting and demoralizing when you think about it. We've talked about these lockdowns before. And in fact, we've also talked about famous Californians threatening to leave that state before too. Previously, we talked about Tesla and its leader, Elon Musk. Elon Musk runs that electric car company there. Very progressive, very um, future looking. They're making advanced technology and he really wanted to open his company up. So he had this whole story about it. We covered it in a video a few days ago. And now, now we have another new story about another case where Another famous celebrity is threatening to move himself and his company out of California. Now, granted, this isn't as big or proper as Tesla, which makes tons of big cars and they're a big billion dollar corporation. No, this time we're talking about a podcaster, a humble podcaster named Joe Rogan. He's also a comedian and UFC fight announcer and what have you. And he does a lot of cool stuff in Los Angeles in his show. He hosts a podcast, has guests on every day, all that fun stuff. But recently Joe Rogan has hit the news because he's decided to say, hey, I might have to leave California too and move to Texas because these lockdowns are getting out of control. Now, there's not much more to say about that. We know about the lockdowns. We know about this story. We know how the lockdowns were probably very necessary in the beginning, but now they seem to be going a little long. But in addition, certain areas are still dealing with the worst of this, California being one of them. California being one of the more crowded states, very international, lots of people coming and going. So there is cause to say, hey, they need to be more cautious. But at the same time, these lockdowns are getting very old, very tiresome, and also very detrimental to people and their families. People want to work. They want to make money. They want to get back to the real world. That's not going to happen for a while, but it's certainly not going to happen any sooner if we keep these lockdowns going. People want to work. They also want to send their kids back to school. All this fun stuff needs to come back and that's why we're seeing more and more people come out, especially prominent celebrities, especially ones in California who say, hey, these lockdowns are enough. For more details on this story, let's turn to an article called Joe Rogan says he's thinking about moving to Texas after California extends the lockdown to August. That happened a few days ago and Joe Rogan recently spoke on it. Very interesting. We'll get to some clips about that soon. But first, let's see what this editorial article has to say. I honestly don't have much to say about this, but I do find it interesting. I feel like it is a window into how many Americans are feeling right now. It certainly resonated with me. As every day goes by, it seems like people more and more confused and things not only continually change, but also do a complete 180. Travel restrictions to China are BS to don't leave your house until August. It's not worse than the flu. It's a global pandemic. Don't bother with masks. They don't help that much to if you go outside without a mask, you'll be arrested. And all these things are coming from the same people. And then there's a meme saying what the hell is going on. Totally understandable. Lots of con contradicting information out there. And it makes you think, you know, things have changed so fast, so many times. I remember the mask thing. I remember when it was uncommon to wear the mask when it would seem like odd or offensive and then now it's like offensive if you don't wear one other things have changed too like the story behind this what's been going on and now with the lockdowns lockdowns are good lockdowns are bad when do we need to keep them for how long it's all a lot going on so I can understand this writer's interest and I can understand why uh, people like Joe Rogan would question it too then the article says, in these strange times, there's two people willing to speak out and ask the important questions. Joe Rogan and David Portnoy. Emergency press conference, when did flattening the curve turn into finding the cure? Here's Dave Portnoy's post on Twitter. When did this become flatten the curve, flatten the curve, flatten the curve to we have to find a cure or everyone's going to die? Like Fauci. Seems like a nice enough dude. I've always been like, oh, no agenda. Looks like he could be maybe the grandfather in Wedding Crashers. Gets in front of the Senate. He's like, we reopen the country too quick. Everyone's dead. Where'd that come from? And the LA mayor. We're not opening the city till we find a cure. What? 
Yeah, that does seem excessive. That does seem to kind of change the narrative in the story once again. Original shutdown was just to save the hospitals and make sure they didn't get overcrowded. We're way past that now. And now they're saying, hey, we need to shut down for this and that. We need to shut down until the cure comes. I mean, the cure could be a while away. I hope it comes sooner, but we could be talking about years before that actually happens. We have some treatments, some things they've been working on, some good developments, but to try and hold out for the cure, it sounds a little excessive, a little ridiculous. And then that also brings up the whole political side to this. We're talking about California. We're talking about liberals who want to keep things locked down. Obviously, they're influenced by what's going on in our country. The election's coming up in November. The worse this country does throughout this virus throughout this year, the better the Democrats might look and have a chance at beating Trump. Trump is the current incumbent leader running for re-election. He's, of course, conservative. He's on our side. He wants to make America great again, keep us whole. But the problem is the Democrats are in charge of a lot of big places and cities, and they're going to use their power and do this and stop them whatever way possible. And then today, that's including them trying to keep this lockdown going indefinitely. The lockdown needs to go, 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 so that it can keep the country closed, 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 closed. But that's not necessarily what's best for America or what's best in this situation and what's the most safe. Now, with all that said, let's turn back and let's go to this Joe Rogan comment and see what he has to say about possibly moving out of California. I like that Callan's going. Hey, I might move to Texas. Callan and I and uh, Sean have actually talked about this. Like if, Getting a ranch like, together? Well, if, if, if California continues to be this restrictive, yeah. I don't know if this is a good place to live. First of all, it's extremely expensive. The yeah. taxes here are ridiculous. Yeah. And if they really say that we can't do stand-up until 2022 or some shit like that, uh -huh. like... I might jet. Yeah. I'm not kidding. This is silly. I don't need to be here. The only reason why I'm here. Okay, that's a good point, and we'll get to the only reason why he's there, which probably just has to do with Los Angeles and entertainment being located in California and Los Angeles and Hollywood. But, yeah, people are starting to reach out and look around and think, hey, this isn't the best place to live. This isn't the best place uh, to be. We don't like these liberal controllers, these liberal authoritarians, these draconians trying to assert their authority, trying to boss people around, get them all hooked on the nanny state. That's the goal of Democrats, and that's what they've been voting in in California for decades, for many years. So this is them getting what they asked for in a lot of ways. We talked about this when we talked about the L.A. lockdowns extending in a previous video and now we're seeing the kind of outcomes we saw that with the tesla and the elon musk story he actually ended up getting his company reopened that might still be in flux but it doesn't look like he's relocating anymore for now but joe rogan could definitely consider it and he's got an easier move on his hands here he doesn't have to move a big factory and you know hundreds of employees he's got a smaller operation mostly just him a few buddies i'm um, not actually sure the actual numbers but it could be like 10 20 people in his operation at the most you know he could probably do this podcast with like three or four people if he really had to with two you know so it's not that big of a move for him to just say hey let's get a place in texas let's move they'll get a bigger place they'll have a ranch they could buy a farm after they sell their house in in california and they're also going to be in a better location. They're going to have less taxes, more freedom, uh, more rights. They won't have to deal with these leaders. Now, granted, Texas is a state that's kind of been going blue. It's kind of like a swing state these days. So it could get influenced and possibly turned totally Democrat for the future, too, because they also have that problem, too much immigration, bringing in too many new uninformed voters that are naturally going to the left. That's what happens when you bring in all these immigrants. That's the goal of the Democrats bringing in a lot of immigrants. But that's besides the point. Right now, Texas is still good. It's still a big state. Everything's bigger in Texas. And I could see why a stand-up like him might want to move. He can move his podcast and his whole show there over a week or something. It could just take a few days of moving, a few days of relocating, buying a house. I mean, sure, it'll take more time than that, but he could easily get it done in a few weeks and still have two, three months that he's avoiding lockdowns in California. He can't do stand-up. He can't do work there anyway, so why not relocate? Go, go somewhere else. Go and uh, exit this terrible state. A lot of my friends live here, yeah. the store's here, but if they, if they won't let us do the store, but we could do stand-up other places, why would we stay here? Mm, where in Texas, though? I don't know, man. The other thing <laughs> is the, the, they make most of their money off of alcohol. And, and if people have to wear masks, how's that work? Should we call Callum right now? Everyone's got a sippy straw? Yeah. <laughs> Let's call Callum right now. Get an update. 
Actually, it's funny that guy mentions that I actually saw a mask where someone had a straw hole through it, which is kind of ridiculous, kind of defeats the purpose, but there is people that are getting that creative. People are getting aggressive. They want to get out there. They want to still, you know, be safe, but also go out and have a drink. Granted, alcohol also lowers, lowers your immune system, but that's that's a worth worthy sacrifice. And that also brings up, you know, a worthy risk. People are interested in possibly taking a little risk right now. I don't think it's necessarily for everyone. If you're young or you have the opportunity or you don't need to work, you know, stay home if you can, stay back if you don't want to go anywhere. If you're more worried, that's your right too, but it also should be people's right to be able to go out, to do things, to open up things slowly. And it just seems really extreme for California to take it this far. When are you doing the improv in Houston? I'm doing the, the improv in Houston, me and uh, Brennan Schaub. You're a savage. I'm ready to come with me the 29th, the 20, the 30th, <laughs> and the 31st. Um, so how many people are allowed to be in the audience? I think it's 200 so far. Whoa. That's so, because yeah. that's all they could sell? How many? What? 200 people in the crowd... Okay, first of all, Joe Rogan, you should know that the microphone and the speaker are on the bottom of your smartphone. I don't know what why he's holding it like against the microphone like this. It should be holding it towards the bottom. Uh, not a big deal, just a small point I thought it was funny. And he's asking about this guy who has a show in Texas. It seems like Texas has just opened up more, has possibility there, just more potential. And it makes sense too, because like I said earlier, the phrase is everything's bigger in Texas. There's just more room there. They're just a bigger state. Every place and house is going to be bigger, more land. It's spread out. It's just not as condensed as somewhere like California, very suburban, very packed, very crammed. Now, I'm sure, I know there are suburban areas in Texas, and I'm sure there are crowded places in downtown in certain cities, Houston, and what have you, but it's just a better opportunity and a better led place. It has more Republican influences. Ted Cruz is a senator from Texas. You know, there's a lot of that kind of traditional lifestyle out there, country people, old time conservatives, you know, middle class, working class, blue collar. That's the place you want to be right now. And I could see why people are starting to entertain it. I mean, Joe Rogan, he's still probably a left leaning guy. I don't think he's you know, a con conservative necessarily, maybe his centrist to some people, but um, he's definitely, you know, he's still left leaning and he, but he recognizes this. Texas is for everyone. It has both sides. It's a mix. It's similar to other swing big states like Florida I'm familiar with, um, but it's definitely not similar to the big left wing states like California, New York, and even Michigan right now, who's having a problem with their lockdown and a problem with their governor. And in addition, um, Illinois has a very corrupt Democratic government. These are the places that want to lock things down. These are the places where the virus is the worst. And this should just tell us all a lot. It should tell us that, hey, these Democratic leaders have other agendas. They're not doing a good job. They're trying to make this political. And they're trying to extend these lockdowns for as long as possible because they want as much power for as long as possible. And it's glad to see I'm glad to see Joe Rogan and people like Elon Musk stepping up to this, speaking out, and getting the good word out there. That about wraps things up for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts on everything below. Tell me what you think. I'll be reading. I'll be responding. And thanks again for your time. Make sure you hit like if you enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you all next time.